What's up guys, it's Cody with Bass and Bones and this is your Tackle Tip Tuesday. Hopefully this one's gonna save you a lot of headaches because it has me over the years. I started out, you know, uh, soft plastics collection just rapidly expands when you're getting into fishing. Uh, everybody has just hordes and hordes of soft plastics. But if you're like me, you've probably settled on, you know, a few colors that you really like, probably green pumpkin, black and blue, water, some type of watermelon. You have those couple of colors you really like and you've probably settled in on a type of bait you really like for each application. So what I found is I go with the deeper Plano boxes. Um, this is my this is my big 10 and 12 inch worm box. Like you can see, I just separate it out in compartments and you know, what is that, eight compartments. I got my 12s up here in the couple colors I like and my 10s down there. That's gonna keep them, I'm gonna fit about three bags in each deep compartment. Keep some dry, keep some organized. I got everything I need right there. I don't have to fumble through hordes and hordes of bags. You know, I don't throw a Walmart bag in the back of the boat and have to shuffle through it. That's how I like to do it. Now there are times, of course, when you're gonna have, you know, a few baits or a few bags of stuff that you're gonna be using just for specifically, maybe a specific color or something like that. That's when I like to go to the shoe box. Uh, you can get them at Walmart. This is actually a plastic shoe box. I think they use them for like daycare, kindergarten and whatnot. But you can get five of these things from Walmart for like 450 or something. What I found out though, is you can take a pack of almost any plastic. These are Biospawn Vilecrawls and they fit perfectly. I don't know if you see that. I mean, they fit just perfectly. It's what you can do. I don't have these full yet. I hadn't packed up for Gunnersville. But like, if you're going somewhere that, you know, you're gonna be using something a little different. Maybe you're not a big swim bait person, but you're going Tennessee River and you know you need swim baits. This gives you a way you can throw packs in there, keep them organized, and still have all your baits. You don't have to worry about dedicating entire boxes for it. So check this out. There's shoe boxes. Your plastics are gonna fit in there perfectly. They're gonna be dry, organized, and ready to go for your next event. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope the tips are helping a little bit. Feel free to shoot a comment down there. Please subscribe and check back next Tuesday for the next Tackle Tip. Thanks, guys.